I am at your service, Sir Knight. You wouldn't happen to know about a brawl that happened here not long ago. Apparently it involved two carpenters who were being treated here. And they were fighting with a monk? A monk? I have no idea. May the Lord watch over you. I am honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. You wouldn't happen to know about a brawl that happened here not long ago. Apparently it involved two carpenters who were being treated here. And they were fighting with a monk? With a monk? <laughs> I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery, but those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well? Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. Good luck to you.
You wouldn't happen to know about a brawl that happened here not long ago. Apparently it involved two carpenters who were being treated here. And I don't have a clue. You wouldn't happen to know about a... <laughs> the monk! Take care now. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. The Overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Because of the Talmberg Stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen and then there's all these rumours going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. <sighs> Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? How the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumours, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest labourer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? You talked about the Devil's Skull. I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. Take care now. Day to you. What do you need? I have a bone for you from the remains of St. Procopius. Truly? Then show it to me. Behold. Ah! Is it really from St. Procopius? Of course. 
I'd never try to deceive you that way. You're right. My God, you're right. Such holiness. I mean, you're dead. How can I repay you? Well, Groshen never hurt. You surely earned them. Here, and Henry. Yes? I just wanted to touch it for luck. If you took something you shouldn't have, I expect you'll put it back. Take care. God be with you. You wouldn't happen to know about a brawl that happened here not long ago. Apparently it involved two carpenters who were being treated here. And they were... I don't have a clue. We were talking about the... Why are you... Because I'll pay you. For supplies? Oh, come off it. Blankets can get chewed up. We agreed? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Yes, these things happen, certainly. And as long as the monastery needs my protection, they'll have to put up with it. Farewell. God save you. What can I do for you? You wouldn't have to... I don't intend to... I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here on holy ground, in the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where, exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognise a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. That thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Good luck to you. God be with you, Henry.
Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. You wouldn't happen to know what Fritz and Ma- Don't even talk to me about that. They weren't badly injured compared to most of the others here. And after lying in bed for a while, they got bored. So they started drinking. I'm trying to help people in dire need, and the two of them are drinking with that cretin Elias. They always have been thoughtless, but at least they were punished for it. Who is this Elias, anyway? One of the ordinal monks who helps out here. He was the one who brought the booze. All three of them got friendly pretty fast. You know what they say about birds of a feather. And do you know what got between them? I don't have a clue. One minute they're the best friends in the world, and then... a lot of yelling and furniture flying around. They threw Fritz and Matthew out straight afterwards. What kind of person is this Elias? Mm, a timid kind of fellow. And why is he being so hard on Fritz and Matthew? They're drowning in debt because of him, and it seems all they had was a small fight. I don't know. He was the one who wanted to befriend them in the first place. I don't believe it's because of any property damage they did. It's got more to do with wounded pride. Thank you. That's all I need. I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? Yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really Gloria. don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Isn't that a little unchristian? You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? Well, those were just idle threats, really. If they come and apologize, there's always a possibility of forgiveness. Good luck to you.
It looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Yeah!
The stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it. Yeah. God save you. God be with you.
I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. Good luck to you. Yeah. God be with you, good sir. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I could use a paw like that myself. Then go to the knacker. I'm sure he'll get you one. I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> As you wish. My talisman against your groshing. Sure. There'd be no point in it otherwise. Take care now.
You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. Finished. Your turn. Here. I thank you, dear. I'll be back in two shakes. One ale, please. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. Well, seems my luck's run out. Damn it. Seeing how I lost. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. <laughs> Not to you, anyway. So, thanks for the game. Right here. God be with you. Will you teach me how to pickpocket better? Certainly. I'm interested in more about. Wouldn't you rather learn? Well. I'll think it over. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got there. One cat paw for luck. Wonderful! How did you obtain it? You wouldn't believe it. I won it from him. Oh, no, you don't! Now the talisman won't bring its own luck anymore. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh. Well, luckily it's a cat's paw, so it has other uses. That will be all for now. Good luck to you. Cheers!
I hope I can be of help. Have you got a bed for them? Certainly. For how long? Just the one. No problem. Here you are. You'll like it here. Good luck to you.
Yeah. Yeah. 